guys welcome back to another video um this is one i've actually wanted to do for a little while now and i've just never got around to it so the number one app that i spend a lot of my time on is of course clash of clans no i'm joking it's pinterest i get inspiration so easily and so i like to spend a lot of my time looking for inspiration um and keeping my sort of creative side going i used to save pictures all the time when i was younger which i was actually quite embarrassed about at the time but since Pinterest came along, I realized that everyone does it. So it's actually, yeah, it's not that embarrassing at all. And I think as well, like sharing your inspiration shows that it shows where your ideas come from. And I'm I'm always fascinated when I see other people who inspire me to see where their inspiration comes from. I think that's cool. I just thought I'd do a little chill one, just go through some of my Pinterest boards and pick out a few outfits and just talk about why, why they inspire me, like why I'm into them. Specifically gonna go through my autumn board because we're heading into autumn. I've literally today just put away all my summer shorts. So I'm ready, I'm ready for autumn. A couple of things before we start. My chair is hella squeaky. So I'm gonna try and sit still as much as I can. Second of all, it's really hot in here. So if I'm sweating, apologize. If I open the window, hopefully that'll help. Just gonna spin you over here for a sec. So here we are in my autumn inspiration interest board. This is where I will be getting most of my inspiration for autumn for outfits. As you can see, it is mostly browns and warm tones. A lot of white, actually. Didn't expect that. A lot of white trousers there. Uh, a lot of oranges, a lot of just general warm tones, uh, which makes sense because it's autumn. And that's uh, kind of the theme, right? I'm going to start from the top though, uh, which is going to be my more like recent saves. Uh, I'm going straight for this one actually. I think I saved this like as I started this video, as I logged in, I saw this picture and I was like, I like that look. I'm very in the moment, really interested in like wider leg trousers. Obviously these are kind of uh, like tied up at the bottom, I think, but just the whole baggy oversized look I'm really, really enjoying right now, especially for autumn. Nice and cozy. Um, I'm actually really annoyed because I had a pair of jeans like this that were kind of like jogging trousers uh but made to but kind of made to look like denim and they had the same drawstring and i got rid of them because i i figured i had too many similar jeans but now i kind of really regret it because uh they were really good for like a casual kind of look so yeah i'm just really enjoying this look this like casual kind of coffee shop vibe really comfy uh oversized jumper look really enjoying that okay let's scroll down a little bit i'm gonna skip some of the um more recent stuff um what should i click on these, this outfit, right? So these shoes, they're like Birkenstock. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that's actually the Birkenstocks, but they're Birkenstock Boston clogs or something. I used to not like them. Then I kind of understood the appeal. Now I kind of like the look of them, but I tried on a pair in, in a shop the other day. And I just, I don't understand how they stay on people's feet. Like, I just don't get it. Like they, <laughs> they slip off constantly. Like. I just, it's the same with slippers, like I can't wear slippers that don't have like a back to them. Um, I was walking around the shop and like it slips off and Birkenstock have that like really firm like sole and at the back there's like a little ridge. Stepping on that is really painful. Um, so I just don't know how people walk around in them without them constantly falling off and them like treading on the, the, the heel of it sort of thing. I don't know, I, I kind of like the look of them now though. They've, uh, they've grown on me, they do look really cozy. So um, yeah, I'm like, I, I kind of like the look of them now. Um, I don't think I'll ever get a pair though. I might get something similar, um, who knows? They do kind of look like slippers though. So I'm still still a bit uncertain, but um, it still gives me inspiration for like, you know, you could get a pair of, I don't know, sneakers or something that are Nubuck or suede, that kind of color still gives you inspiration for like color schemes and stuff like that. And actually the top, uh, I really like that top, but I've got a similar like rugby shirt that's yellow and I think it's like yellow and navy stripes. And so while it's not exactly the same, this outfit kind of gives me inspiration. Like, ah, oh, okay, I could use, I could wear that top with like, is there, are those brown trousers? They're kind of like olive colored trousers. It's a good look. I think she's wearing like a shirt underneath it with a beanie and everything. And just like the color of the shoes. It's, uh, it's giving me inspiration for a look already. I might actually try and put something together that's similar. So that's, yeah, I like that. Again, I really like that oversized kind of baggy look right now. Really cozy vibes from that jumper. Just makes me excited for, for autumn. All right, moving on. Um, what else we got? There is a lot of similar stuff here I've saved recently. A lot of these like white or like off-white trousers with kind of like olive colored jackets and stuff. Clearly I'm going for a bit of a phase of, of light colored trousers. I think what it is as well is every time I've got some off-white trousers, some like gray, light gray, white trousers. 
I always put them on. I always end up going for like a black top or like, um, I mean, I know that going for like a dark top is usually a good thing because you're kind of balancing the, the lights and darks, but I just always end up looking like black and white outfit. I'm just not a fan. So I want to try out more stuff. So I think every time I see someone wearing light trousers, I'm just saving it automatically because I'm just like, I need as much inspo as possible. So I saved this one specifically because I have a pair of these shoes and this is not how I would normally style them. I like the outfit, but like when I when I analyze it, I'm kind of like, I don't like it, but I do. It's weird. Like when I just look at it, I'm like, yeah, that is good. But I would never style myself in those in those clothes. And I'm trying to work out why it doesn't work in my head, but it works here. Okay, I partly saved this one just because I thought the, uh, the layout was pretty cool. <laughs> kind of looks like someone's like, like hanging out with their legs crossed um but also right now like every autumn i always go into it kind of with this little obsession with not just like bright oranges but that kind of um i don't know what you call it like the genre of clothing i guess would be like hiking clothes where it's kind of people wear bright colors so that when they're walking they can be spotted easily if they get lost but there's like something about that i kind of like it's those bright oranges those bright yellows mixed in with like kind of some darker tones and some like earthy tones. So here's a pretty good example. Um, again, it's not it's not like exactly what I would wear or what I'm even trying to portray. The bold colors, the kind of clash of weird colors and, and um, different textures and all the layering going on. I just really love it. I feel, again, I feel like when I break the outfit down, it doesn't work in my head. But just looking at that image, I love everything about those outfits. The yellow in the boots, like his bright red, the orange trousers, like it just works. Even the orange, even the blue rope just works really well. It's a very like polo Ralph Lauren look, like they tend to do that a lot. Yeah, literally <laughs> polo right there. You might notice as well, I definitely don't just stick to men's fashion because I think there is so much inspiration to get from like any gender of fashion, even if it doesn't necessarily match like what you would wear in terms of gender so like this girl for example those trousers are very sort of uh fitted to her body type but i can still get inspiration from that because it's essentially just you know a brown t-shirt with navy trousers smart trousers smart belt some sort of smart shoes maybe sandals it doesn't matter like who's wearing it or what their body type is whether it matches me or not um it's all about the colors the shapes the styles so yeah you'll see like a mix of stuff basically let's move on down so I have recently, well actually last year, it was actually coming out of winter, I bought a, uh, a proper barber jacket. Wanted one for so long, kept buying like knockoff versions and then in the end I was like, you know what, I'm just going to save up for a proper one. So I'm really happy I've got it, it's really nice quality. And then, I, and then I just hit a block where I was like, I don't know what to wear with it. Like there's the really basic kind of, you know, barber look where it's like chinos and you know, like an old jumper that is kind of what you would expect someone to wear if they're wearing a barber jacket. But I've seen some outfits uh, on Pinterest where people uh, match them with outfits that I think look a lot more unique and nice. Um, this, for example, like she's wearing it with kind of, it's still like kind of, you know, vintage old clothes and also still chinos, but it's kind of, you know, kind of like warm tones. If she, like if you remove the jacket there, she's wearing essentially all the same color, all the same tones. The jacket is kind of added a layer onto that. And uh, I like it. It's not, it's not the kind of usual thing you'd see for a bubble jacket, I think. I'll see if I can find more examples because uh, I have got a board as well, which is literally just outfits with barber jackets. So, um, <laughs> but there might be a few on here still. Okay, so of course, wide leg trousers are very in right now. Took me a while to adjust my mindset and admit that actually I do like them. I do think they work a lot better with like smaller tops, um, less baggy tops. Like they work well with baggy tops and this isn't, he's not exactly wearing like a super tight thing top but um there's definitely a silhouette there of kind of you know the shape widens at the bottom uh throughout the whole outfit which is cool i don't really know what he's got like is that the tags from the clothes i guess so i guess he's trying them on maybe they're new but yeah brown or black easy combination always works i have a similar pair of um brown trousers actually that are quite thick so they're really good for winter and uh they're pretty wide at the bottom so so yeah, I'm getting a lot of inspiration from this one. It's a really basic outfit, to be honest, but like when I'm in a rush sometimes and I'm just like, shit, what do I wear? Like popping on Pinterest, going from my board, I'll see something like that and be like, of course, you know, basic t-shirt and trousers combo, like it looks good. Um, sometimes you just need that like 
in that quick inspiration when you're like half asleep and you've just woken up. This is like a classic outfit that is very popular at the moment. Uh, I feel like there is a risk of it becoming a little bit boring uh, if, if like if it becomes too popular of a look, you know, warm tones, shirt over vest, smart trousers, smart shoes. Like it's a good look. I like it. I'm I'm enjoying wearing stuff like this right now. Um, but I'm seeing it a lot, and I'm just thinking like, I don't know. Are we are we all suddenly going to get really bored of this kind of look? But um, but yeah, I like this. I have some trousers like this actually. I bought from Uniqlo. Very similar look. So again, this is one of those things that. This isn't necessarily inspiring me to go out and buy new clothes. This is more inspiring me using what I've got in my wardrobe and being like, you've got this outfit, you could wear this, you know, which I think is very a good approach to have with Pinterest sometimes. Moving on down. Okay, adding a little bit of color in. I'm sure you've seen quite a few people in these like bright blue, electric blue jumpers. Uh, I think Daniel Simmons had a jumper i think it's in his like profile picture actually which is like electric blue this is chloe hayward she's wearing like a very similar color i bought one at the end of winter last year i got on a second hand off depop uh like an electric blue jumper i just think there's something so satisfying about that color right now especially paired with black it just looks really nice and i think in autumn again everyone's always wearing black or brown or or those kind of colors so something very something like that is quite striking and different and i really enjoy it and i'm actually excited to get out of the jumper that i bought I haven't had a chance to wear it it's, it's too cozy and it's not it's not cold enough yet that is literally the outfit i'm wearing right now that's weird literally vest top black shirt yeah that's that's yeah i guess that one stuck with me so this is interesting i this one obviously features a lot of green not just in the top but in the location I, last year I was obsessed with wearing green and I'm actually surprised there's not as much green in this in this board and, and not as many safe pictures of green outfits. Maybe as I scroll down I'll find more. But uh, yeah, I was obsessed last year with wearing green and I've still got quite a few items that I didn't get enough wear out of last year. So it's definitely gonna be a trend for me this year as well. I mean, I guess that's kind of green, right? Like it's maybe I think it's just muted because of the, the photo edit, but um, that again, that's a really nice, a really nice combo. With that pop of white as well just really i keep hovering over i hate this like i hate this ui when you hover over it it's so annoying sometimes it's very difficult to work out if it's the outfit i like or the photo um obviously this has like quite a striking color palette and it's not just his outfit it's the boxes it's the background so you know sometimes you gotta um you gotta be aware of of what you're actually interested in um and whether the outfit actually does it for you to be honest though, you can get inspiration from this. Like if you look at this image and you think, hey, the red really works, you can kind of work that into the outfit somehow. Maybe with something really small, like an accessory or something, belt or like a um, like a red keychain or something would look quite cool. These, this image, I have trousers almost exactly the same as these and I have never worn them. But this picture always brings me back and, and reminds me that I've got them. And again, it's more color, you know, it's more bringing more color. It's a bit cliche color for autumn, but it's still something that isn't just brown and uh and black i think this is the picture that convinced me to finally get a barber jacket there's something about it i it's funny because i always think of barber jackets as being kind of like a something you wear in the countryside right out on a walk but this this looks like a, a city trip in the middle of winter and there's something kind of smart about the jacket which i kind of love um and it's not like oversized on him it's kind of fitted and i kind of like that i really like that he's the way he started in this picture. This outfit, I don't know if this was on purpose, but this is very similar to one of the outfits I did in my in my previous lookbook for spring. Um, this might have been the picture that inspired it. Maybe it wasn't, I can't remember. But I do remember I just bought those white jeans and I, I really wanted to style them with something before it got too hot because we were going into summer. So I'm actually really excited now that I get to get them out again and uh and actually wear them i literally they literally i bought them when it was too hot to wear them i think they were on sale so uh yeah looking forward to that i think we're actually reaching the the beginnings of the board which i yeah i didn't think i would <laughs> damn i have i've reached the end wow well that was a lot of brown and i didn't realize how many brown outfits i'd saved into autumn but i mean i guess in my mind when i'm like i want to look autumn-y at least I know I can go for brown. Um, okay, so I just wanted to open up a couple more just to finish on. Um, these ones I saved, even though they have brown in them, the reason I saved them is because they've also got bold colors that are there to remind me 
not to just stick to muted tones in autumn. So this one, for example, has a very bright kind of turquoise blue color, which again is something that I would have associated more with spring, but I think it works really nicely here and I think it could look really good in autumn and really create some contrasting outfits. This one as well, not so much an outfit I would put together, but it is a nice mix of bold colors. I really like that blue. Again, it's kind of turquoisey blue. I think blue like that does kind of go well with browns, which I think is why they work so well. I mean, and I guess any kind of blue, like navy works in autumn, more cerulean blue kind of works, the electric blue. I, I guess maybe I like blue more than I thought. Yeah, a nice variety of blues is definitely, is definitely something I'm, I guess I'm getting inspiration from. And with that, I think I'll end it there. Appreciate you coming on this journey with me into my Pinterest boards. I hope you found it as inspiring as I do. Like I could, honestly, if I just scroll down into the, you know, more ideas section, I would just be there for like hours, just clicking on a million different pictures. I end up with like 20 tabs open, probably more. It's, it's a problem. But I hope you enjoyed having a little look into what I find inspiring. Let me know if there were any you liked in particular. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you do like it. And uh, if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe, maybe. Mm. It's been a bit of a chill one. I have to keep my voice down because uh, it's quite late at night. Hope you all have a good week and I'll catch you in another video quite soon. Also, what is this? What is this little thing? I've got a dead pixel on my camera. That's so annoying. And it's red as well. It's... I don't even know how to get rid of that. That's very annoying.